Hey guys, I'm Joel with Hops and Brews, and today we have a beer from Goose Island that needs absolutely no introduction. So today we are going to be checking out a world-class beer that comes out once a year. Goose Island's Bourbon County Stout, the 2022 edition, the original variant of it. This beer is probably the most common version of this beer you'll find, the most widely distributed, one of the most sought after beers for beginners, mid and expert beer drinkers and traders. Honestly, I just, I think we should just get into it. This beer comes in at a 14.3% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 4.43. In 1992, former Goose Island brewmaster Gregory Hall wanted to brew something truly unique for the brew pub's thousandth batch. He just needed some inspiration. Then a chance encounter between Greg and Jim Bean's Booker No led to Goose Island acquiring the barrels for what was to become the world's first bourbon barrel aged beer. Bourbon County Stout. Today, Bourbon County Stout is not only a local favorite, but globally known for setting the standard of barrel-aged stouts with continuous innovations. This year, we commemorate the 30th anniversary of the extraordinary Bourbon County Stout. We continue Gregory Hall's legacy and passion for making the best beer possible, starting with the best barrels the Bourbon Trail has to offer. This year, our Imperial Stout is aged and blended from freshly emptied bourbon barrels from Heaven Hills, Four Roses, Wild Turkey, and Buffalo Trace Distilleries. Expect flavors of vanilla, dark chocolate, toffee, molasses, almond, and dried fruit. All right, I mean, that's Bourbon County Stout, right? Uh, it's a legendary beer. I will state this right away, it's black. Uh, you can smell the bourbon once you pop it open and the head dissipates very quickly. It's just black to check that thing out. But that's what I was kind of surprised about. That head retention just dissipated like super fast, almost like a, a soda, you know? Makes me think a little thin. I really hope not. I remember this having some body to it. It's been a while since I've actually had a standard Bourbon County Stout. All right, let's get into this. Aroma. Oh, they are not kidding, talking about dark chocolate, coffee, toffee, all of that's there, bourbon. You get all of that. It's very prominent, very appealing too. It doesn't smell artificial. Again, I kind of wish there was a head for those bubbles to make this wonderful aroma pop more, but hmm. cheers. Ooh. 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 Okay, okay. It's not as thin as I thought. It is thin for a bourbon barrel aged beer that is 14 plus percent. However, it's not thin either. It's like a thick IPA. It's not chewy, but it's thick ale. It's there, it's really there. You taste the bourbon, you really do. It tastes young too, that's the thing. That's why I love the Bourbon County Stout. You can age all the different variants for a while and they taste great. Some batches may have had a history in the past of not being so good, but you know, that's the adventure, right? This is good stuff. You know, it it, it coats it, but it's not super leggy. It smells, like I said, it smells fantastic. I remember a couple of these smelling like really deep leathery tobacco. This one leads more toward the bourbon and dark chocolate side. They are still not kidding when this is like the standard of what you should strive for first when making a barrel aged beer. It's still a fantastic beer, still a great thing to have. So Goose Island's Bourbon County Stout 2022 variant. It's a little young, 
that's my only real complaint a little young and thin now the body's not going to get better with aging but i believe that booziness i believe the balance of all of the flavors that i'm tasting i'm tasting a lot of dark chocolate i'm tasting a lot of bourbon i'm tasting like a coffee roasty woodiness i wouldn't say coffee just roastiness all of that will blend better with age. There are also just some simple branding things that Goose Island are doing. The little winged tab on the bottle that points out gives it that really craft expensive look. Even a person who has never had a craft beer before knows that this looks expensive, this looks exquisite, and it saves in cost because it's not wax dipped either. It makes it look as important as a wax dip, but what's even better is they put information on it and it tells you you can age this up to five years. And another thing that the label also tells you, the variant, it gives you almost a handwritten note. I know that's printed on, but it makes it look handwritten. And also the back of the label gives you information and tells you the glassware to use this for, a snifter, it tells you the ABV, it tells you the bottling date, which also signifies what version it is. So you get a lot of really cool information on this beer. And it's got that etched bottle and that just makes it look classy. And it really is. For the price, for everything, this is still the standard people go for. You look at all the big collectors of beers, they still collect these. They may have their nose up a goose island after they got bought out, but they still buy these. Okay, Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Even the original is still a fantastic beer. If you can, try to get two, but if you can only get one, try to find something on draft. That way you can age it. It's a great beginner's aging beer, but it also still hits that expert level. So if you have, a craft beer enthusiast in your life and he's looking to start aging bottles or he's already in the advanced stage, he'll still be happy with this beer. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember hit like and subscribe, follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of the description. Uh, while you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment or two. Did you get this year's Bourbon County Doubt? Uh, what variants did you get? It's kind of hard for me to get all the other variants here in the Pacific Northwest since they uh, kind of stopped distributing out here some of the well better variants. I got to trade a lot. So if you got one, DM me. See you guys.